In previous videos, we discussed how you can create a custom post type and then add lots of different advanced custom fields to that post type to really extend WordPress past the traditional posts and pages. Now, one of the things that uh, some people commented on was how you actually display that content in a nice design on the front end. Now, in this example, in front of you, you'll see a team member page. So essentially, it's a page which displays team members on the website. Now, this is obviously an individual team member. His name is Adrian, and, and it shows his qualifications, job title, image, specialisms, background, and contact info. Now, all of this information is basically custom fields that are linked to a custom post type. Now, that was traditionally very difficult to do this in WordPress for someone who's a beginner. Um, it's all sorts of PHP and CSS to, to make this work. So the first part of the process was fairly straightforward, creating a custom post type and then the custom fields. But now it's changed. It's a lot easier to make this design look nice in the front end. And to do it, I would suggest you utilize a page builder called Beaver Builder. And I won't go into depth on exactly how you use Beaver Builder or indeed any page builder. There's plenty of information online on how to use them and indeed Beaver Builder itself. But if you combine the use of Beaver Builder and all the different functionality and design fun uh, capabilities that it has with the addition of Beaver Thema, which is linked closely to Beaver Builder, surprisingly enough, with a very similar name, you can start to link custom fields to the design options that you have in Beaver Builder. So it really makes things a lot easier. So let's take a look at this site that we've got here. On the left hand side, you'll see that we've got team, case studies, downloads and properties, and they're all different custom post types. But for this example, we're going to show you how we display individual team members on the front end of the site using Beaver Builder and Beaver Thema. So we've got Adrian at the top here. We're going to click on edit and take a look at exactly what the fields are in place for this custom post type. So at the top, we've got the usual circumstances of the, the title. We've utilized the excerpt to show the job title of the individual. And then we've got some custom fields for basic info, qualifications, specialisms. And then we've got more info, which is background on the individual, which can be displayed in this field and then their contact info, so landline, telephone number, mobile, email, and their LinkedIn profile URL. Obviously on the right hand side, we do display a featured image. So the custom post type is not just about, you know, custom fields. It's got the traditional uh, WordPress fields in there as well. So how do we display that on the front end and get all this information so it looks just like this? Well, we can utilize Beaver Thema. Now, when you install Beaver Builder, you can also add the additional plugin called Beaver Thema. And then you have this option underneath Beaver Builder called Thema Layouts. Now, here I've already designed lots of different Thema layouts for my custom post types and other things which Beaver Thema can do. Now, I won't touch on those at this moment in time. I'm just going to focus on how you make your custom post types look fantastic on the front end. So at the bottom here, we've already created a theme layout called Team Member. If we click on Beaver Builder, you'll then be presented with the Beaver Builder options on the front end. So you edit Beaver Builder on the front end, not the back end like some of the other previous page builders which you may have used. So what we've got here is we've got the title here, Adrian Willett. Now if you notice that information, here there's the title you can see it and we're obviously displaying that on the front end here but how are we doing that so first off let's click on this icon here which is the spanner icon now in the heading you could typically with a page builder just type in some information in this field but we haven't done that what you do with beaver thema installed is to click on this plus icon and then you can actually choose the field that you want so straight away we've got the field that we want which is post type title and we can just simply click on connect and then you'll see that the field goes gray and, you, and you've got post title there now the benefit of using beaver builder and thema is that you can utilize all of the fantastic styling options within beaver builder so you can click on the style option there and then you can utilize the color option there and other things such as the font 
choosing whether to align it in the center, the font family, the size, and so on. So there's plenty of good things in there that you can utilize. Also, let's take a look at this field here, which is the qualifications field. You click on the spanner icon there, and you can also link a field in here. Now in this example, you can see that we've got ACF post field already in place. We do the same thing, we click on plus, scroll down, we'll find advanced custom fields, click connect, then we'll bring up a new window. Just wait for that to load. Now in this first box, we need to choose the field type, which is text. And then in the field name, we need to make sure that we've got the correct field to pull in that particular information. So if we look at the team member, we know that we need qualifications and then we need to edit the field group. Now, take a look at previous videos we've uploaded of how you can actually create your field groups and advanced custom fields. All that separate information is available for you. But once you open up your group, you can click on qualifications, click on edit, and then the field name that we need here is honors. So we simply click copy that, and then we can paste that field name inside that field, click save, and then we're ready to go. I'm not gonna click save because I've already got this post already in place. And of course, go through all the styling and do all the things that you want to do with that heading. Underneath, you can see that we've got director. In the same way, we've linked it all together, text fields. And of course, if you remember from the actual post, I've used the excerpt for the uh, job title. The image that you'll see here is the featured image. So we click on the spanner icon. And then in, in the uh, photo, you'll notice that the post featured image has been selected. So all we've done is click on the plus icon, select post featured image, and that pulls the image in directly from where you uploaded it for the custom post type. Again, you can do some styling, all sorts of things with that image to make it work exactly how you'd like it. Scroll back down, and then you'll notice we've got specialisms and background. So we're not just necessarily just pulling in the data from the post type. We can just add some standard titles, and then the variable content goes underneath it. So click on the spanner for this. We haven't linked a custom field. We've simply just added specialisms and styled it exactly how we wanted it. Then underneath, we click on the spanner icon. Here you can see that we've connected a specific field. So we've clicked on the plus icon once more. Scroll down to where we find the post field. We do exactly the same as what we've done previously. We'll go over and find the field that we need. So here it is, specialisms. Click on edit. We'll copy that field name. And then we know it's we know that um, it's not a text field in this instance. It's actually a WYSIWYG editor. So we need to make sure that we select the correct field type. Then we'll copy that in there, and then we'll click save. In this instance, we're just going to cancel out that because I've already got the information in place. And you'll see that the fi the field information displays underneath the title that we've added. In the same way, you can do exactly the same for background. So we click on the spanner icon and link the correct field. So you're not limited by all the modules that you've got available inside Beaver Builder. You've got all sorts of modules. And in this um, setup, we've got the standard modules and we've also got ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder, which is an extension to Beaver Builder that gives you even more modules. So you can also use Beaver Thema with those modules too. So you've got all sorts of design opportunities. In the contact area, you can see that we've got phone numbers and email addresses and LinkedIn. If you click on the spanner icon here, this is actually a list icon module. So we've linked the phone number, which is shown right here. That is linked and then we've styled around it. So we've got the icon of the phone and then we've decided on the icon color the type of style that we want. And of course, we've got things like typography, colors, and then the advanced settings are all in place as well. So plenty of different things that you can do. You're utilizing Beaver Builder, connecting the fields in place, and you can really extend this however you like. So that is how you can use Beaver Builder in conjunction with Beaver Thema to show your custom post types with their custom fields in a really professional way on the front end.